Tonight for a legal showdown over a woman's right to an abortion. Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky is suing the state, saying a new law that places restrictions on abortion is unconstitutional. And Jeanette Levy joins us with what supporters of the law are saying about it. And Jeanette? Well, Rob, this is the complaint filed by the ACLU of Indiana and Planned Parenthood. It claims that the new law that places restrictions on abortion is unconstitutional and places an undue burden on a woman who is seeking to terminate a pregnancy. Under the new law signed by Governor Mike Pence last month, a doctor is required to tell a patient she cannot have an abortion based on the race, gender, or potential disability of a fetus. And the state simply does not have that right, does not have that authority, and it is a gross interference with a fundamental constitutional right of privacy that all women have. The ACLU filed this lawsuit on behalf of Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky. The new law also requires an aborted fetus to be buried or cremated, not disposed of like medical waste. Anti-abortion activists like Paula Westwood support the law and say it also requires a woman be counseled in private before having an abortion. What it does is it does give um, some elements of humanity as far as aborted babies' bodies are treated and it gives women an opportunity to reflect a little more before they do choose abortion. But those who support abortion rights say the law overreaches. A campaign on Facebook called Periods for Pence has taken off. Women are being encouraged to call the governor to discuss their menstrual cycles. It's time for Governor Pence to get out of our doctor's offices and stay out of our doctor's offices. In a statement, Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller said it is important to recognize that all laws passed by elected legislators and signed by the governor are presumed constitutional until a court determines otherwise. And I would ask that everyone respect this legal process. The law is supposed to take effect July 1st. Planned Parenthood wants an injunction before then to stop or to keep the state from enforcing the law. Rob and Jeanette, thanks very much. North Dakota is the only other state with a law on the books similar to the one in Indiana. A bill will likely be introduced in the Ohio State House next week that would ban abortions of fetuses with Down syndrome.